this one. Based upon the information that you gave us, and based upon recent admissions data, 60% of District 20 students who receive offers to specialized high schools would be denied admission under the proposed cap to admissions when you spread it out to 7% of each of the citywide schools. In one school of this district, one school only, where 220 offers were made in the past, under the mayor's proposed plan, only 18 students would have been allowed to attend a specialized high school out of 220 in the past. And this was not because of a single admissions test. These students excel across the board. The vast majority of these students carry double fours on all the New York State standardized tests for years. The vast majority of these students have over a 95 average in an honors curriculum for years. And yet, despite these achievements, only 200, I'm sorry, 200 of these students would be denied entrance despite their hard work and success across a variety of academic standards and metrics because of the mayor's plan to change things. So given the disproportionate negative impact on our district students, students who thrive academically in all these academically rigorous environments, and understanding the need to present equal opportunity for everyone to attend a high quality education in the specialized high schools, would you commit to expanding the number of specialized high schools or, or creating a second set of high schools that are like screen specialized high schools that have the types of admissions criteria that you described for your daughter? Because the screen programs are successful in Brooklyn, Queens, and elsewhere. And that way, you could create something new and give opportunities to more people without destroying something that has worked for you. Okay. 
test and is able to get in based on one score on one day. So I think that in a public school system, that there are better ways of identifying opportunity for student, students. Now, I will also say that there are many students across the city of New York uh, that would like an opportunity not to go to specialized schools, but to go to great schools. So if the, fact that, the fact that we have, whether it's students or parents, that somehow have latched onto the idea that the only way to get a good education is to go to a specialized school is problematic, not for me, it's for us as a city. And perhaps, if we're looking at a broader portfolio of schools, perhaps parents would see there are incredible opportunities in other middle schools in this very district. Perhaps other parents and students would see there are opportunities in other high schools Perhaps we would start looking at different kinds of opportunities in different places rather than saying you only have to go to a certain set of elementaries and then a certain set of middle and a certain set of high schools. That is not the sign of a healthy public education system. And we should have a conversation. That being said, it is no one's intention. I don't think people that disagree with me or people that agree with me, I don't assign this to anybody. I don't think, but I do think it's none of our intention to hurt any students. But I do think that through public dialogue, we can get to a better place where we all are actually providing those kinds of opportunities, not guarantees, opportunities for the broadest array of students, who, by the way, will all be New Yorkers, paying taxes, having lively careers in this city, which will support all of us when we get to retirement age anyway. So we have to do well by them as well. I think that's what we really are, to have that kind of a conversation. Um, I don't necessarily disagree with your premise that you can get a great education in, in a wide variety of great schools in New York City. And I think, though, that the specialized high schools are kind of a unique premise. I don't think they're the only road to start. I think they're just a unique opportunity for certain people. And that test, that test has worked well and somehow selected a very high level of achieving students for literally generations. And it's not just people saying it, you know, it's reflected in national rankings and the schools that recruit at those specialized high schools. And quite honestly, because this plan hasn't been tested, I don't think the city or the mayor knows what this plan, when you implement it, is going to do to the reputation of those schools or how the consumers of those schools, the universities, will view the students once the quality of the student body is changed somehow. What I'm suggesting is exactly what you're saying. I'm suggesting make another group of schools to accommodate these great students from throughout the city who, for whatever reason, don't do well on that test and don't do well on standardized tests and, like your daughter, submit an essay to show that they can write, submit their grades to show that they're good students, get a teacher recommendation, and have another set of great schools and then two pathways of opportunity so other people can succeed as well. I would not walk to the answer other questions, hopefully there's other questions. But but let me just say this. With, with, again, myself with all due respect, I do not support what you just said in terms of these schools being diluted. That's what you said. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll, I'll let you clarify your, your words, but what you said is that how will these universities look at the students coming out of these schools when they are diluted academically? What that says to me, as a man of color, oh.
I want 1.1 million students to have every opportunity for every single school. And I, and I, and I don't mean, it, mean that negatively, but I'm going to call you, and I'm going to call everyone who says that in that kind of way, I'm going to call you on your language. Wow. Because it is sending a message to the community that is not helpful. Just like people have assigned language to me that I've never said, it's not helpful. Let's keep this about policy. Let's keep it about opportunity. Let's get away from those 